Greetings YouTube, Stussmeister here with the second of my Train Guy 1988 videos. People have a deep fascination with the extraordinary and the incredible, as it often expands our view of what is possible. As an example of this, the Guinness Book of World Records has been published for 67 years now, with records being created, achieved, and broken on a frequent basis. The realm of railroads has its fair share of records as well, some of which I will share with you in this video. Without further ado, let us begin. Northlands in Flemington, New Jersey was begun in 1987 by Bruce Williams. It has eight miles of track, 40 bridges and trestles measuring about 400 feet, half a million lichen trees, and the substructure uses enough wood to build about 40 houses. London and Northeastern Railways Class A number 4472, known better as the Flying Scotsman, was the first steam engine to reach 100 miles per hour, and is also the locomotive that holds the record for the longest non-stop run, 442 miles achieved in Australia in 1989. The oldest named train in the U.S. is the Sunset Limited Passenger Service between New Orleans and Los Angeles. It began operations in 1894. Amtrak's Acela Express is the fastest American train, launched in 2000 and capable of reaching speeds of up to 150 miles per hour or 241.4 kilometers per hour. Union Pacific No. 844 was completed in 1944 as the last steam locomotive built by Union Pacific and is referred to as a living legend due to its never having left service. Union Pacific Big Boy No. 4014, one of 25 such engines built starting in 1941, has 24 wheels, measures 132 feet or 40.23 meters long and weighs 1.2 million pounds. Located in the Null Arbor Plain in Australia, this straight track measures 487 kilometers or 302.6 miles and is part of the Indian Pacific Passenger Service running from Perth to Sydney. The plain is also home to the longest straight piece of road in the world. The current world speed record for a commercial train on steel wheels is the French TGV with a speed of 574.8 kilometers per hour or 357.2 miles per hour. The longest and heaviest train worldwide operated on June 21, 2001 between Newman and Port Hedland in Western Australia running a distance of 275 kilometers or 170 miles. The train of 682 loaded iron ore cars weighed 99,734 tons and measured 4.57 miles or 7.35 kilometers in length. The train was used as a test of distributed power and used eight locomotives in five locations. The longest and heaviest train in the U.S. occurred on November 15, 1967, when the Norfolk and Western Railroad operated a 500-car plus caboose train weighing 48,170 tons and measuring 4.06 miles or 6.53 kilometers in length. The train had six diesel locomotives, three in the front, three in the middle, and was a test of possible train lengths and widths. On April 27, 1991, a passenger train consisting of 70 coaches and measuring about 1.08 miles or 1.74 kilometers in length was pulled by one electric locomotive from Ghent to Ostend in Belgium. The train was arranged by the National Belgian Railway Company as a one-time creation to raise money for the Comop Taken Conquer or Fight Against Cancer charity.
began. A weekly passenger service between Darwin and Adelaide in Australia is the world's longest regularly scheduled passenger train. This train, once known as the Afghan Express, which is where the shortened nickname GAN comes from, varies in length as passenger numbers require, but a typical service consists of two locomotives and 30 coaches. At 6,322 miles, or 10,175 kilometers, the Trans-Siberian Railway between Moscow and Vladivostok is the longest distance regularly scheduled passenger train worldwide. Covering a distance of 2,775 miles, or 4,466 kilometers, Via Rail Canada's Canadian service between Toronto and Vancouver is the longest distance passenger train in North America. The longest distance U.S. train is Amtrak's Texas Eagle between Chicago and Los Angeles with a distance of 2,728 miles or 4,390 kilometers. East Indian Railway number 22, also known as the Fairy Queen, was built in 1855, retired in 1909, and restored to service in 2012. Angel's Flight in Los Angeles is the shortest railroad worldwide. Located between Hill Street and Grand Avenue on a 33% grade, the railroad is only 298 feet long, or about two city blocks. It costs 50 cents to ride and was opened in 1901 and restored in 2010. The Union Pacific Centennial locomotives were the largest diesel locomotives ever built. There were 47 built between 1969 and 1971 to commemorate the Golden Spike Centennial in 1969. Each one measured 99 and a half feet long and weighed 545,432 pounds. There are 11 of these locomotives remaining with one, number 6936, still in operation in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Currently, the world's largest locomotive manufacturer is the Chittaranjan Locomotive Works in West Bengali, India, which produced 431 locomotives between 2019 and 2020. Founded in 1832, the Strasburg Railroad in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania is the oldest operating railroad in the U.S. Running regular excursion trains between East Strasburg and Lehman Place Junction, the Strasburg Railroad is also the only U.S. railroad where two steam locomotives pass by each other on a regular basis. Founded in 1758, the Middleton Railway in Leeds, United Kingdom is the oldest continuously operating railway in the world. Originally created to supply the neighboring communities with coal, the railway now runs regular passenger excursion services on the weekends. The Qinghai Tibet Railway is a 1,215 mile or 1,956 kilometer railway inaugurated in 2006. This line includes the Tangula Pass, which at 5,072 meters or 16,640 feet above sea level is the world's highest point on a railway. The Tangula Railway Station at 5,068 meters or 16,627 feet above sea level is the world's highest railway station. The Gothard Base Tunnel runs under the Swiss Alps between the towns of Erstfeld, Switzerland in the north and Bodio in the south. This tunnel is 57 kilometers or 35.4 miles long and reaches a depth of 2,300 meters or about 1.43 miles. The Cascade Tunnel in Stevens Pass, Washington is the longest U.S. railroad tunnel. 
This tunnel, which was completed in January 1929, runs through the Cascade Mountains between Spokane and Seattle and has a length of 7.8 miles or 12.56 kilometers. The Danyang Kunshang Railroad Bridge on the Beijing to Shanghai high speed line is a 102.4 mile or 164.8 kilometer long bridge that spans a lake, rivers, and several cities. The title for longest U.S. railroad bridge goes to the Lake Pontchartrain Bridge between Slidell and New Orleans, Louisiana. This 5.8 mile or 9.33 kilometer long bridge carries Norfolk Southern Freight and Amtrak inner city passenger trains. Completed in 2015, the Chenab Bridge in India is the world's highest railroad bridge at 1,178 feet or 359 meters high and 4,314 feet or 1,314.9 meters long. This bridge is so high you can fit the Eiffel Tower under it and still have room. The Pitt River Bridge on the Union Pacific Railroad at Shasta Lake, California is the highest U.S. railroad bridge, rising 433 feet or close to 132 meters over the original water level of the Pitt River. Shinjuku Station in Tokyo, Japan is the world's busiest train station in terms of passenger volume. With commuter, inner city, and metro rail lines, the station serves 3.6 million passengers daily. The station is actually a cluster of five stations and serves as a connection between Tokyo and its western suburbs. The busiest train station in the U.S. is Pennsylvania Station, or Penn Station, in New York City, with traffic including Amtrak, Long Island Railroad, NJ Transit, and subway passengers. The station serves 600,000 plus people per day. With 44 total platforms, Grand Central Station in New York City is the world's largest station in terms of platform capacity. Nagoya Station in Japan is the world's largest station in terms of floor area. The headquarters of the Central Japan Railway Company, it is claimed by some sources that the station has an astonishing 446,000 square meters or 4.8 million square feet of floor space. The smallest full-service railroad station, full-service meaning both freight and passenger traffic are handled in the U.S., is the Idlewild Park Depot. A regular stop on the Ligonier Valley Railroad, which itself connected with the Pennsylvania Railroad at Latrobe, Ripley's, believe it or not, considered it the smallest full-service station, as it had a waiting room, ticket agent office, and freight express room in a 10 by 25 foot or 3.05 by 7.62 meter space. The world's smallest rail network in Vatican City consists of two 300 meter or 984.2 feet long tracks, two freight sidings, and one station, Citta del Vaticano, which is primarily used for transporting goods and for symbolic reasons with no regular passenger service. In the United States, the total route length is over 155,342 miles or 250,000 kilometers, which is two and a half times longer than the second largest rail network in China. The U.S. freight rail network makes up 80% of this length, while passenger rail, run by Amtrak, consists of more than 30 train routes connecting 500 destinations across 46 states. 
The Glacier Express in Switzerland takes eight hours to complete a 181 mile or 291 kilometer journey. This is because the trip takes in sites such as the Oberalp Pass and Landwasser Viaduct, as well as mountain lakes, alpine meadows, and chalets. Speaking of Switzerland, the nation is also home to the world's steepest railway, the Mount Pilatus Cogwheel Railway. Ferrying passengers up to the summit, it reaches a maximum gradient of 48%, or 12 feet up for every 25 feet forward. What can also be scary about the ride, aside from the fact that the train sometimes feels like it's about to tip over, is the sweeping views of the surrounding and equally steep landscape. The train journey from Porto in Portugal to Singapore is the longest distance you could cover by train alone. The trip covers about 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometers and takes you from Porto to Warsaw before heading east to Beijing, then south to Vietnam, and then Singapore. This full journey would cost around $7,000 and take at least 12 days to complete. All aboard! Japan's Seven Stars is what is referred to as a cruise train that takes passengers on a multi-day trip around the island of Kyushu. It is considered one of the most expensive and exclusive train journeys in the world, as the Seven Stars can only accommodate 28 passengers on each journey, and prospective riders must enter a lottery to be invited to purchase a ticket, which might cost as much as 5,400 US dollars. Located on the Indian Pacific Line in Australia, also home to the longest stretch of straight track in the world, the town of Cook was once an important stopping point on the journey across Australia, but is now more of a ghost town with four residents left. Trains still stop here to refuel and serve as a rest stop for passengers, but any passenger who decides to leave the train is 62 miles or 100 kilometers from the nearest road and 513 miles or 826 kilometers from the nearest city. This station, whose name I won't try to pronounce, is located in Wales, has 58 letters in its name, and serves the village of Landfair. The name roughly translates to St. Mary's Church in the hollow of White Hazel near a rapid whirlpool, and the Church of St. Ticilio near the Red Cave. The name actually has no historical significance, as it was simply a marketing gimmick from the 1880s to attract tourists. Karskaya Station, located at one end of the obskaya Bovanenkovo line in Russia, is the most northerly train station worldwide, and also ranks among the most remote stations across the globe. The town of Karskaya served by the station is well within the Arctic Circle and is known for natural gas extraction by the Russian energy company Gazprom, and it was this company that actually completed the line extending to Karskaya in 2011. Cascada de Macarena or Macarena Waterfall Station No, not that Macarena is the world's southernmost functioning railroad station located in the town of Ushuaia and part of the Southern Fuegian Railway also known as El Train del Fin de Mundo or Train of the End of the World this railroad was originally created as a freight line to deliver timber to the Ushuaia prison, but now serves as a heritage railroad line into Tierra del Fuego National Park. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, or if you wish, feel free to leave a railroad related comment, story, or question in the comments section below. Thank you and have a good day.